Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to calculate the length of the interior angle bisectors and the exterior angle bisectors for a triangle. Suppose we have a triangle ABC as you can see in the diagram where the side length AB is denoted by a lowercase c, c units and side length BC is denoted by lowercase a units and side length AC is denoted by lowercase b units. And similarly we have the angle BAC which is the angle near the vertex A, it is denoted by uppercase A radian, angle ABC is denoted by uppercase B radian and angle ACB is denoted by uppercase C radian. Let's now draw one of the interior angle bisectors and let's suppose AD is the interior angle bisector. It bisects the angle A which is near the vertex A. Also let's extend the side BA and let's also extend the side BC and then let's draw the bisector of the exterior angle CAP. In this video we are going to try and calculate the length of AD and AQ. AD is the interior angle bisector and AQ is the exterior angle bisector. Once we are able to calculate each one of these, then we can use the similar technique to calculate the length of the other interior angle bisectors as well as the exterior angle bisectors. Let's first focus on calculating the length of AD. Now as you can see in the diagram, what would be the area of the triangle ABC? Well can we write the area of the triangle ABC as the sum of the two smaller areas which are triangle ABD plus triangle ADC. So the sum of the areas of triangle ABD and triangle ADC will be equal to the area of the triangle ABC. To calculate the area of the triangle ABD and the triangle ADC we are going to use AD as the base. So what would be the height for each of those triangles? Well, if we extend the AD line segment little bit and then we drop a perpendicular from the point B onto the extended AD, let's suppose that perpendicular is BE. So then the area of the triangle ABD will be equal to half times AD times that height. Now let's think about the area of the triangle ADC. There if we use AD as the base, then what would be the height of the triangle? If we drop a perpendicular from C onto AD and let's suppose that perpendicular is CF then CF will be the height. So for the triangle ADC we can say that the area will be half times AD times CF and for the area of the original triangle ABC we are going to use AC as the base then what would be the height of the triangle ABC? Let's drop a perpendicular from B onto AC and let's assume that the perpendicular is BJ. So BJ will be the height. So then for the area of the triangle ABC we can say it will be half times AC times BJ. On the left hand side now we have half times AD as a common factor. So I am taking that as a common factor. Now we are left with BE plus CF is equal to half times AC times BJ and from here let's multiply both sides by a 2 then we will be left with AD times BE plus CF. Now what is BE? If you look at the right triangle ABE so in the right triangle ABE if we take sine of the angle BAE that would be equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is BE over AB and from here we can say BE is equal to AB times sine of angle BAE. What is the angle BAE well it is actually half of A because AD is the angle bisector so angle BAE or angle BAD that will be half of A and what is AB well AB is actually denoted by lowercase c so this is actually c times sine of half of A. So here in place of BE I am going to write c times sine of half of A plus what is CF? Well if we look at the right triangle AFC in that right triangle if we take a sine of angle FAC that will be opposite over hypotenuse which is FC over AC and from here we can say then FC is equal to AC times sine of angle FAC that is also half of A because AD is the angle bisector. So we can write it as AC times sine of half of A. Now what is AC? Well AC is actually denoted by lowercase b. So that would be b times sine of half of A and I am going to use this value of FC right here. So this is actually b times sine of half of A is equal to on the right hand side we have AC. Now what is AC? 
AC is actually lowercase b units and then what is BJ? Well BJ will be AB sine of A in the right triangle ABJ if we take sine of angle BAJ which is the angle A obviously that is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse that is BJ over AB and from here we can say BJ would be equal to AB times sine of angle BAJ angle BAJ is nothing but the angle A and what is AB? Well AB is actually lowercase c units so we can say this is c times sine of a and that's exactly what I'm going to write here so this will be on the right hand side here it will be b times b is for ac so b times bj would be c times sine of a so in place of bj I'm writing c times sine of a and from here let's take the common factor which is sine of half of a outside so it would be ad times sine of half of a times c plus b is equal to b times c times sine of a can we write it as 2 times sine of half of a and cosine of half of a because you know that sine of a can be written as sine of half of a plus half of a which expands to 2 times sine of half of a times cosine of half of a now you see this sine of half of a on the left hand side and the sine of half of a on the right hand side they will cancel each other so then on the left hand side we have ad times b plus c and on the right hand side we have 2 times bc times cosine of half of a and from here we can clearly see that ad will be equal to I am writing on the left hand side 2 times bc over b plus c times cosine of half of a I hope it is clear up to this point and using similar technique if we draw the bisector of angle B and also the bisector of angle C using similar technique we should be able to calculate the length of those bisectors also and let's assume that the bisector of the angle B is BX even though I have not drawn it on the diagram here but if we assume that BX is the bisector of the angle B then its length will be equal to 2 times CA over C plus A times cosine of B over 2 and similarly if we assume that CY is the bisector of the C angle though I have not drawn it on the diagram please assume that CY is the bisector of the C angle the interior C angle then that will be equal to 2 times AB over A plus B times cosine of C over 2 next we are going to see how to calculate the length of the exterior angle bisector in this diagram I have one of the exterior angle bisectors which is AQ and we are going to see how to calculate the length of AQ now if you think about the big triangle which is ABQ if we subtract the area of ACQ from ABQ Q that will give us the area of ABC so here I have noted that the area of the larger triangle ABQ minus the area of the triangle ACQ will be equal to the area of the triangle ABC now to calculate the area of the triangle ABQ and the triangle ACQ I am going to use AQ as the base now if AQ is the base then what will be the height for the triangle ABQ well for that we have to extend the QA line segment little bit and then we have to drop a perpendicular from B onto the extended QA and that will be the height of the triangle so let's do the construction I have extended the QA line up to S and now I am going to drop a perpendicular from B onto QS and let's assume that BG is that perpendicular so then what will be the area of the triangle ABQ if we use AQ as the base then that will be equal to half times AQ times BG minus what would be the area of the triangle ACQ in this case if we use AQ as the base then we have to drop a perpendicular from C onto AQ for the height and let's assume that the height is CI so then the area of the triangle ACQ will be half times AQ times CI and all of that will be equal to area of the triangle ABC that will be equal to half times AC times BJ if we take AC as the base and BJ as the height then we can write it as half times AC times BJ now let's multiply both sides by a 2 then it becomes simpler the factor of half will disappear so let's multiply both sides by a 2 so we are going to get AQ times BG minus AQ times CI so AQ will be a common factor I'm multiplying both sides by a 2 and I am taking AQ as a common factor out on the left hand side so that will give us BG minus CI is equal to AC times BJ now what is AC well AC is actually the side length B lowercase 
B units. So that would be B times BJ. Now we have to figure out what is the length of BG and CI. We have already figured out the length of BJ and that was actually equal to C times sine of A. So here in fact we can write it as B times C times sine of a. Now for the left hand side we have to figure out what is the length of bg and ci and ultimately we are going to find out the length of aq. So from here we can say then aq is equal to bc times sine of a over bg minus ci. Now let's try to find out the length of bg. If you look at the right triangle abg the angle bag will be equal to 180 degree minus the angle iad minus the angle DAB. So from the straight angle if we subtract the angle IAD and the angle DAB then that will leave us with the angle BAG. Now what is angle IAD? Well angle IAD is actually the angle between the bisectors of two supplementary angles. So that angle will be 90 degrees. So angle IAD will be equal to 90 degree because it is the angle formed by the bisectors of two adjacent supplementary angles. So then we can say this is equal to pi minus pi over 2 that is the angle IAD minus what is the angle DAB well that is half of A. So this leaves us with pi over 2 minus half of A and that is the value of the angle BAG. Now if we take a sign of that angle sign of the angle BAG and instead of writing BAG I am going to write pi over 2 minus half of A that will be opposite over hypotenuse opposite is actually BG over hypotenuse is actually BA or AB and from here we can say then BG is equal to AB times now what is AB? AB is actually the side length lowercase c units. So this can be written as C times sine of 90 degree minus A over 2 that would be cosine of A over 2. So we have found the value of BG. Now let me start writing it here. So from here we can say well this is equal to BC times sine of A over C times cosine of half of A minus we also have to find out the length of CI. So now let's try to figure out the length of CI. If we look at the right triangle CIA in that right triangle what is the angle CAI? Well if you think about it angle CAI can be written as angle angle DAI minus angle DAC. Now what is angle DAI? Well angle DAI is actually 90 degree because it is formed by the bisectors of two adjacent supplementary angles. So that would be pi over 2 minus what is angle DAC? Well angle DAC is actually half of A because AD is the angle bisector of A. So angle DAC would be half of A. So we have found the angle CAI. Now let's take a sign of that angle. So sign of angle CAI which is pi over 2 minus A over 2 will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now opposite is actually CI and over hypotenuse is actually AC and from here we can then say that CI will be equal to AC times. Now what is AC? Well AC is actually the side length B units lowercase b units. So that would be B times sine of pi over 2 minus A over 2 that will be cosine of A over 2. So we have found the length of CI. Now let's use this value right here. So in place of CI now I am going to write B times cosine of a over 2 and let me erase this portion right here and from here if we simplify this a little bit AQ will be equal to in the numerator we are going to keep BC and then for sine of A we are going to write it as 2 times sine of half of A times cosine of half of A and then in the denominator we have cosine of half of A as a common factor and within the parenthesis we are going to have C and B. So that would be C minus B like this C right here and the B right there. So that would be C minus B. So you can say this is C minus B and now you see that cosine of half of A in the numerator and the denominator they are going to cancel out each other. So we are going to be left with 2 times BC over C minus B times we have sine of half half of A. So finally we see that the length of AQ is equal to 2 times BC over C minus B times sine of half of A. And let me write it down over here and using similar technique we should be able to find the length of the other exterior angle bisectors. Here in the example I have only shown one of them but you can use the same technique to find the length of the bisectors of the other exterior angles. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.